Orgasm of Fury. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Unless you've been living under the rock, you know that Zack Snyder's Justice League cut is coming out this Thursday on HBO Max. And this is not a review because I haven't seen the film yet. My thing is, in the midst of this release, I just really hope that all the good reviews I've been hearing aren't rose color glasses reviews. And what do I mean by that? It's like this. When people see things with rose colored glasses, they see them with a bias to it. People did not. Overall, they, for the most part, they panned the theatrical cut by Joss Whedon that came out about three years ago. They panned it. So it was terrible. Blah, blah, blah. We get it. I saw it. I understand. My thing is, now is it going to be because this version is superior to that version? Which makes it by default spectacular? Because it had everything that Zack Snyder wanted it to have? Or is it because... Or maybe that's what people are saying. Or maybe is it because it is just better than the base model. You know? You go for the SUV. And then you got the two-wheel drive, four-cylinder versus the eight-cylinder all-wheel drive. So you got four-cylinder, two-wheel drive versus eight-cylinder all-wheel drive. Which one are you going to go for? Exactly my point. Is it just because of that default or is it really that much better? Is what I want to find out this Thursday. And I have not watched the theatrical cut in quite some time. So... Hopefully, I see this and I'm like, I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, well, that's new. Well, that's new and that's new and that's new. I want to watch this and experience it and see if it's really good. Did I see another reviewer say, well, they should just let these directors do what they want and put this out in the theatrical version? No, they can't. If it's this many hours long, you really think. You got to understand, people are so selfish with what they want. Tyrone, you got to understand this, man. You can't put a six-hour movie in a movie theater in intermission. Movies go on how many times they can be played during the day to maximize sales. Now, we are in a pandemic. This is the perfect opportunity for something like Zack Snyder's Justice League to drop onto HBO Max where it could be experienced at the person's pace and their leisure. Oh, I got to go take a dump. Pause. Didn't ruin the movie for me. You get what I'm saying? Now, if we were still, everything was back to 100% capacity, no. This wouldn't have made it out in the movie theater. We know that. And then HBO Max is to sell HBO Max. They're taking all the assets from like Cartoon Network, that what they which they own, and many other ones. They throwing it into this app because they wanted to sell the the DC um, universe that failed. That's all. It's all here now on Max. They know. They know that. So anyway, back on subject. I really hope that these reviews I've been hearing aren't rose colored glasses reviews. I reiterate that and repeat it. Because I want them to be... I want this movie to be good. Okay? Now, in the past, I wasn't sold on Zack Snyder's Murderverse. Which a lot of people have called it. I wasn't really sold on that. I'm hoping that... Because a lot of people wanted to see this happen. He went back and did some special things. And he learned some lessons from his past. I already heard dialogue in the trailer where Superman said some things that I thought were cool. He don't want, and if you saw the trailer, I'm not spoiling the movie. He said, I'm not going to, I have a second chance. I'm not going to blow this. 
So that puts into context already that Superman is back and he's not this mopey Jesus complex having dude he was in Man of Steel. I, I now that puts that to context because in the theatrical cut, he came back and he he had such a humor. He had to, it, it it felt forced. Now hopefully that's not that hasn't been sapped away from that theatrical cut. Maybe he learned, or maybe he's just gonna be that same Superman, or maybe he's gonna be more hopeful. But in Zack Snyder's vision, we don't know. I don't know. The thing is, is that I'm not gonna be like GameSpot and just give it a three. And say it's like watch your paint dry just because I sound biased and didn't like the old version. But at the same time, I'm still not going to go with this mindset just because I didn't like the old version that much. I gave it a B on the scale of B movies, meaning you know what B movies are. B movies aren't great movies, but it's the best of the worst. You get what I'm saying? I gave it a B on that one for being the best of the worst. But I'm not going to go in and just have this whole mindset like I'm just going to be gullible or I'm just going to fall for anything that's greater because, you know, I'm not going to have that mindset. And I hope a lot of people learn that from past experiences. But GameSpot 3, come on now. Come on. I feel he reaching. But I digress. So anyway, I'm out. Peace.